hello guys in this video i will show you how to import cross sectional data into e views uh, and basically there are two methods of importing cross sectional data into e views i will show you both step by step but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here first of all we will go to file and then to import and then to import from file here we will go to the folder from which we want to import the data and select the folder and click on open here we have two options the first is the predefined range and the second is the custom range if the predefined range is selected correctly then we will go with this one and click on next but if the predefined range is not selected correctly then we will choose the custom range and select uh, adjust the cells according to our data and then uh, and then click on next uh, but in this case the predefined range is selected correctly so i will click on next uh, the row information shows the name of the variables so i will again click on next and the column information shows the country countries so i will again click on next here in the basic structure here we have two types of uh, cross sectionals so the uh, first is the undated unstructured and the second is the undated with id series if we don't have the id series then we will select the first one but if as in this case i have id series so i will select the undated with id series and uh, the identifier series shows the uh, country information show uh, so i will click on finish here you can see that the whole data is imported into e views these are the variables and when we open the, them we can see the data which is imported this is the first method of importing cross sectional data into e views now i will show you the second method the, in the second method we will first go to file and then to new and then to work file here in the work file structure type we will change the data regular frequency to un unstructured slash undated and here we will write the number of cross sections as in this case number of cross sections i have uh, is 27 i will write 27 here and click on ok now i will go to quick and empty group series uh, now i will go to excel and copy the whole data which I want to import and then again go to e views and paste the data in the first row so you can uh, see that the whole data is imported as a group you can name the group as well uh, by clicking name and uh, identify the name according to your so you can see that the whole data is imported that's all from today tutorial you can uh, watch my other videos of importing panel data into use and uh, time series data into use in my other videos but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, see you next uh, see you in the next video